My name is Angus Highland. I'm a graphic designer and a partner at Pentagram Design London. I was asked to do a print by the curator of Pick Me Up, Claire Catterall, and um, it was an open brief. And as a practicing designer, graphic designer, I'm used to having uh, a very specific parameters to problem solving, if you like, so I always work to a brief. So having an open brief, as it were, is plunged. I'm not an artist, so I have. It's very hard to know what have I got to say. You know, that's that's unique uh, or special or that doesn't require me solving someone else's problem. So I asked my wife, as an illustrator, to help me out. So we initially decided it would be collaboration. And it, in a way, it became more of a collaboration where I became the artist and she the art director, even though she is actually an illustrator and I am an art director. So it was a role reversal, as it were. So I said, well, the one thing I could do is like, pick one of these uh, cards by Brian Eno. They're called... Um, oblique strategies and they're sort of they're designed random sayings that are designed to uh, stimulate creativity so, well I could start with one of those it's usually when you have a mental block in your creativity you use one to 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 free free yourself in this instance I just wanted to kick start something so the um, card that came up was is there something missing and I thought well, this is perfect, of course, because it's exactly my problem. So it's some sort of st strange Jungian type yeah. of uh, happening. Um, so that became it. Then it became a question of how, how to actually do it. Um, so I said, I'm not going to take it any further than this. I'm literally go going to reproduce that thought verbatim, but that would play a little bit in the print. So what happened was they started to use the two colours, one of which had the word missing, is in white, and uh, it's printed on white paper, and its background is printed white, but the actual central bit, which is like the sheet of paper, is left free. So in a sense, there's nothing on it. It's unmarked. So the statement in black, is there something that can't, stands out at you? Um, and there's a little question mark. So you can read it as, is there something? But if you look very closely, you'll see missing. So there's a kind of a, a little play. And that's it. It's that straightforward. There's no other hidden meaning. It sounds philosophical, but, but you could think of it as philosophical. Well, actually, I, I, I hadn't read very much about it until I actually arrived today. So it was quite, quite a uh, shock to see so much stuff from so many you know, young people. And it's quite good. I like the idea that it's very democratic and you can come in and walk away with some really nice pieces for a very reasonable price. And it's, it's sort of the, the little salons that they have and the little um, shops and these print rooms. Uh, it's really sweet, I think, because it gives you a, an idea about process yeah. that you wouldn't get in an art show. So it's kind of more democratic, if you like, and it is what it is, which is what I like about it. It's just very um, honest and fun good fun. So I think everyone could probably get something out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Well. There you go.